people, my people, I occasionally have the delusion that I am the king of them, I demand. But I have to ask my wife if I can have them, if I can be. So, what better than a king, such as I am, for my own, well, I'm king at the moment, and then one at home, um, then to review a king gin. It's the Reg Gin from Near Tide Distillery um, in Portland. So, Portland's vicinity many a smelter. It's the last big city heading west out of Victoria before you hit um, South Australia. So, there is no sound of happiness. This one's a screw top. I'll help myself to a little bit more because, well, this is a long review as such. Now, the sm smell of happiness says that there is a fair bit of anise in this. I don't yet know whether it's um, fennel, as in the Desi Daru, the Indian stove vodka, because remember I did Bahasi, which was an Indian vodka made in India, and then I did last week Desi Daru, which is a Indian stove vodka made in Australia by an Indian. Um, oh, I have to have a chat. So. It's not that I, that, you know, Desi Daru has a fair bit of fennel in it, so typically good for me. So I don't know whether this is or not. Yeah. It's an, an anise dominant gin. Um, and I strongly suspect that, <laughs> that the base of this is actually a um, dry gin. Okay, so they've just taken a basic dry gin and then dumped a whole lot of um, sour anise in it. I've done a little bit of research whilst I was pausing this, in case you missed it. Um, and it is sour anise, it's not fennel. So if you, um, they also recommend that if you're going to drink this baby, whack some um, citrus in it. And actually, damn it. A bit of dried citrus packed off to one side from another supplier, and why not? Live on camera, people. Unwrap this baby, and I am just going to dump a wheel of citrus in this. Pause this for a moment whilst it sits. So, people, my people, um, can I actually bring this baby back up? Yep. Um, sorry, learning how to use technology. I've added and soaked a little bit of um, dried citrus. Oh, it certainly changed the flavour. I'm not certain whether adding the citrus was the best idea. Um, you'd more likely be better off having a citrus flavoured tonic, so like a, um, a Mediterranean tonic or something like that. Either way, it is um, well and truly above proof. Um, in fact, it's smack on proof. It is Victorian. It is the anise for gin that you all love, no doubt. Those of you that like citrus gins, you can do your, your funnel and stuff like that. Go and hit this baby, um, and the website will be in the right up. So thank you, people, my people. Um, I've got no idea what I'm doing next week. Um, I know that when I get the write up on this baby, which is a Greek grandpa, um, I will be doing more of that because I have literally got no idea what this Greek this says. Any Greek speakers? This is the label. Translate for me, please. People, my people, hit that like and subscribe and share buttons. I'll catch you around.